Well, this is the most impressive reptile we have in the Southwest, in my opinion. This is the Gila Monster. This is one of only two venomous lizards in the entire world. The other one being its larger cousin, the Mexican beaded lizard. And this is a, uh, a widely foraging, foraging predator that searches about for the helpless young of birds and mammals. So it's, some of its favorite foods are like baby cottontail rabbits. Um, they'll eat uh, quail eggs, but they probably don't eat baby quail because the baby quail, 10 minutes after they're hatched, they're able to run around too fast for a Gila monster to catch them. Notice this round tail. This one is just only about a half as big a diameter as it can get, and these are fat storage organs. A Gila monster it makes its main living in the spring here in Arizona in uh, April and May, where it's eating all those young baby birds and, and uh, baby mammals and eggs. And it can store enough fat in this tail to carry it the full year till next year if times get tough later on. Um, there have been at least two observations of a um, Gila monster attempting to dig up desert tortoise eggs with the female desert tortoise there trying to defend the nest. And in one case, the Gila monster and the tortoise were biting at each other. It was an incredible series of photographs. And in one case, the Gila monster was successful and got an egg, and the other one it didn't. They have very sharp, doubly grooved teeth that uh, when the Gila monster bites, venom is extruded into the grooves of the teeth and then by capillarity flows right up into the wound. I actually, can, I can personally attest that the, the Gila monster bite is extremely painful. That was one of my most painful professional experiences. I was showing a bunch of people a Gila monster when I was working uh, for Arizona Game and Fish many years ago and I used to do this trick of reflexing the lower lip so I could show people the teeth. Well, you only got a couple of millimeters of leeway there, and one day it just swung around and grabbed my finger, and uh, I was totally under its control. But it was one of the most painful experiences I've ever had. My finger felt like it was on fire, and this wave of fire kept moving up my arm, and um, I got nauseous. I uh, had difficulty breathing. I had uh, pain in my kidneys, blood in my urine. I had a, just a marvelous systemic reaction to this, the poison in this creature. But I don't think it had, a, had I not even had access to the hospital where they took me, it wouldn't have killed me, but it would have made me very sick. I probably would have late crawled under a, a, a Palo Verde or a Mesquite and just waited it out. Thank you.